Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. And in this episode, I'll be going to trek from Far Larba Town all the way to Meteor Falls, where I'll meet a few people. Not really major characters, but they are part of a group. They have been previously mentioned, and they are from Team Magma. And you kind of see what they're trying to do. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let's go. I'm just making sure the sound is up then. <clears throat> Repels reflect war off, which doesn't really affect it that much. Or oh, what's this? Alright, oh, yes. Dig. That can be helpful for like getting out of dungeons and stuff. So maybe I don't need escape routes from now on, but... <clears throat> Let's see if he wants anything. I think once you get the one that's from the sand tower, um, well, I don't know what it's actually called, I think you give it to him, I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on it. <clears throat> See it? Here is the first battle of this episode. As you see, as you know, I try and show off all the battles. That's the style I like to uh, play these games. Anyway, here's a barboach. I will use a double kick, that should be enough. But obviously, quite a few of these areas <coughs> are big, like in between the distances between each town, but that's fine. So there we are. That's that done. I should probably get back on my bike. There we are, do that, so I'll do two single battles. I feel like that's better. <coughs> anyway, here's a picnicker. Sending out a nice leaf and still don't remember what it's called. Oh, shift tree, that's it. Yeah, I remembered shift tree. I think it's called shift. I think especially if pronounced as that. Because <coughs> it's got TR white at the end, like tribe. I don't think it's shift tribe. That don't sound right. Maybe it is though. I call it shift tree. If that's not how you say it, that's not how you say it. But anyway, enough of that. Energy powder, I think <clears throat> that heals 50 HP. I don't think it's like the energy route. What are you doing? I was waiting then. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, that's that. Another one Pokemon battle, which is fine by all means, but Jesus Christ, <coughs> a lot. Never mind. <clears throat> Let's just double kick this bar boat. Nearly at level 40, which is a good level to be at <coughs> for this part of the game. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm hacking and coughing everywhere. Please do excuse my uh, coughing. Well, looks like I'm going to have to come back once I get waterfall. <laughs> so yeah, this is raw. I don't know if it's anything useful. Nah, of course it's not. All it does is just... Uh, makes the Pokemon run, but I don't do that. And you can't do it in trainer battles. Any I mean, yes, you can, it's just like switches the Pokemon that comes out in battle unless it doesn't work for some things, I don't know <coughs> but I guess if there's a Pokemon you're not comfortable with with the Pokemon you have Raw with I uh, guess you could lose Raw and hope that a Pokemon that you can easily deal with comes out that's the way I look at it that's a Magikarp, dead the useless thing itself well, at least it just doesn't have magic arps. At least it has at least something else. Yeah, Barboach isn't <coughs> that spectacular, but it is better. 
But there is a water type Pokemon that is similar to uh, Magikarp, and that's Feebas, which is, I think, introduced in this generation. But yeah, that's pretty useless. But anyway, here is the final of the three Pokemon. The Goldeen, all right, Pokemon. I think it can use Horn Attack. It makes sense with it having a horn on its head. Because <coughs> I remember using the Goldeen um, in Emerald. It was a court one. And I just loved doing it. That was when I was younger. <coughs> but now I'm just uh, showing you how like, to use one Pokemon. But I don't mind only using one. But <coughs> whatever floats your boat, I guess. So here's another battle. Picnicer, a Mario, nothing special. Ready? I bet you I'm going to use cut and it's going to miss. I'm going to predict it. <coughs> oh no! Didn't miss. <coughs> Please excuse my coughing. Jeez. Or Lombra. Nothing special. But anyway, let's just deal with it. There we are. So that's another water area there. <coughs> but let's see what else is about. Hang on. Aha! What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot to use Blooming Thingy again, didn't I? Reckon oh, I don't matter. Wow, all for person berries? Are you serious? I don't need them. <coughs> Never mind. I guess that'll do. A whip air berry. Let's go in here and see what's in here. Not much. Oh god, I didn't really need to know that. No. <coughs> Nothing useful in there unless it's hidden items, I don't know. I'm not gonna bother looking. That looks like that's probably a hidden item spot. No, never mind. Anyway. Let's just face these. I think it's senior and junior duo. Yes. Roselia and Graveler. Both can be taken out very easily. <coughs> I'll uh, deal with the Graveler though, because that is super effective. Um, but I guess I can use a Talo on Roselia, because flying types are good against grass type, so. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Graveler done and done. So let's see how much this does. That was level 80. Well, if the Taylor was what, level 18, that would have probably dealt with that, but never mind. It's just a shame that it didn't kill. But you see, I've been hardly using a uh, Taylor. And it's already up to level 17, because obviously, that's just what happens. Obviously, double battles were <coughs> exclusive to Gen 3. But I don't mind. I feel like they put these rocks here just, obviously, to make you uh, use HM. But I think sometimes, I think it was introduced in this Gen... <coughs> where uh, some rocks do uh, contain geodudes. Obviously, they had crabbies in Gen 2, but you yeah, hear me wildly like pressing buttons, but I'm seeing if there's any secret items. No. What's over here? Is this just a shortcut around to Meteor Falls? Yes, it is. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do these battles. Uh, 
Didn't want that, but never mind. Hello, uh, Tad. What is this doing at the beginning of the level? I don't like low Tad because it blooming didn't get <coughs> one shot. Well, it did get one shot, sorry. Not didn't get. Let's do this picnic battle. Oh no, camper. Not picnic at all, oh, my god. Something in my eye. A stone. Well, it's not a stone, but <coughs> if it was, I want to know how it got indoors, but something in my eye. Uh, quickly get rid of it. Uh, double kick, or well, that will do. <coughs> oh god, everything's going wrong for me today. I've got the hacks and cuffs. Got a weird eye, there we are. I think that's right, I'm just gonna blink for about 10 seconds. There we are. Alright, time for a nuzzly. I don't know why I didn't remember that it was called a shift tree, but never mind. Obviously it's easy to deal with because I am a fire type well firefighting. <laughs> that's Camper Shane done. Yeah, I've noticed quite a few of the battles have been uh just like one Pokemon. Or at least all the trainers only have one Pokemon. A Lomba, don't need one. So I'll leave it. <coughs> Alone. Because it wouldn't give much experience anyway. That's what I'm going to say. That must be, that's definitely an optional battle, because, like, it's not even, oh god. Definitely a mania, can we all say. Um, but an Aaron, and yes, another battle with just one Pokemon. <coughs> this just makes the battles even more easier, but I'm not complaining. But yeah, uh, I know I mentioned it, like, ages ago when I first started uh, doing two games at once, but I do... Hopefully, like I me, mean, like alternating the games of play. One game one day, one game the next, then back to the other, and then back to the second, and stuff like that. Because <clears throat> I think it just brings variety. You know what they say, variety is the spice of life, so I think it's a good idea. Because it saves just playing the same game until it's over. Ah, always happens. Ooh, a survivor. I think this is quite rare. But I don't want it, so yeah. Go away, poison type. Yeah, that became famous in the Sinnoh region, or maybe even the Hoenn region as well, but I know definitely Sinnoh region for being a Team Rocket Pokemon. Obviously Meowth was there, because he's with them all the blooming time. <laughs> anyway, I think this is either a Guitarist or a Kindler. A Kindler. Because the animation looks similar, but... I guess I didn't see the guitar, so I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, Slugma. I could have used Rock Tomb, but that's gone now, but that's fine. Let's just use Double Kick. It's the most powerful move anyway. <clears throat> well, actually, no. Maybe Blaze Kick's uh, stronger, but obviously it's a Fire type, so it won't do much using a Fire type move. Anyway, oh dear. I have to use Cut on this Wingull. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to cut you up into a million pieces. <clears throat> Just because I can. Oh, I'm sure there is a battle as well. Uh, where I don't think you get an Altaria, but what's the other one? The uh, first, like, in that evolution line of Altaria. I'm sure you get a battle with that Pokemon in this area. I'm going to make two single battles, not a double battle. That's the way I roll. Gonna send out a Geodude, easily dealt with, of course, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <coughs> Firefighting type's a good mix, I reckon. Obviously, it's not good for a water <coughs> flying type, but <coughs> Jesus Christ, <coughs> it's still good. Because fighting types, there's many things that it's good against, but it has quite a few weaknesses. Which obviously adds to uh, seeing his weaknesses. Anyway, I'll use double kick, I might as well. So, yeah, that is a fire ground type. And it eventually comes camera up. 
which is an alright Pokemon. But yeah, Ground, Rock and Steel, I think, are the three, like, strongest and toughest Pokemon in terms of HP. But I think after that, I don't know what it would be. It would probably be Fire Types, actually, because I think they have quite good health, usually. I don't know. If you know, please tell me. I think the ones of the lowest, I think, is Ghost Types. I don't really know, like, the health on Ghost Types, so I don't think they're really that high. Obviously, dark types are like dirty players. Because near enough, every ghost type you face, like in trainer battles and stuff, has like sand attack and stuff like that. Because that's what dark types I think are supposed to be dirty players. But here's a Mario. Actually, now it'll be normal types, I think, after <coughs> ground, rock, and steel. Because, uh,. You got ones like Chansey and uh, Clefable, I think, has got alright HP. But yeah, a few normal types have mega HP. <coughs> but yeah, that's just all the Pokemon knowledge I know. <coughs> Don't have much, but I know enough to get me through the games. I'm not gonna bother going saying that. <coughs> I think I have said it before on this YouTube channel. No, I haven't. That's a lie, I think. I say a lie. I'll, I'll probably won't ever do that. Because <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. I've done enough of that already. <laughs> but anyway, that's that Geodude done and done. Another Pokemon. It's a matchup. It shouldn't be too bad to deal with. Actually, no. Maybe fighting types have got. I don't know if they've got like a lot of HP, but I don't know. But I've noticed that fighting types, like quite a few of the moves, <clears throat> have something else with them. It isn't just like a normal attack. Like quite a few, like special moves well fighting special attacks do like uh, decreasing special attack special defense all that lot anyway here's meteor falls i don't know if i want no i want to be going up i think I'm running out of repels which is fine yeah i did want to go up <coughs> it was a full heal not the best item but it will do anyway here's the team magma grumps hee 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 with this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will. Heh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. Here's Maxi. Hee hee hee! Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh, it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Hehehe. <laughs> Be seeing you, you team Aqua Dimbacks. So yeah, I could go back to Far Harbor Town and go that way, but I'm going to go the rest of the way. Just to explore every place and get all the battles and stuff. But I will be coming back to this place for a secret battle in the post-game. <coughs> anyway. Didn't I see you before at Slateport's museum? Ah, so your name is Phantom. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hmm. <laughs> You're an odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give chase to Team Ac uh, Magma. Yes, yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Phantom, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. So yeah, he doesn't think that, like, I'm gonna, well, not gonna allow any of that to happen. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls. But they tricked me. They even took my meteorite away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? 
So yeah, they're going to have like a battle. Ooh, what's that? Oh, there is something up here. Oh, it's a shame that I can easily get rid of stuff I don't need. <coughs> don't need that. Moonstone might come in handy. I don't know if you can get like a nidder and all that lot in this. I don't think you can. I think that can hurt you. I know it's a one way thing, but. Come on, get out. Didn't get out in time. It's fine. Ooh, a soul rock. I don't see many of these. I don't know if they're rare or not, but. I remember when you see them in the. Uh, Final main story dungeon of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I won't say anymore. That's a great game. I'll probably end up playing that on the DS emulator one day. <laughs> anyway, I'm near the end of these routes. I think I'll show you how I am on the map once this battle's over. <laughs> but another trainer with <coughs> only one Pokemon. But that's fine. Anyway, let's use a double kick. Kapow. Hit one times. Lovely. So, my chop fainted, obviously, which is great. But yeah, I don't know why he's called Nob, but I'm sure he uh, does get poking that thing. I remember him. Yep. I remember Black Belt Nob. Can't forget Black Belt Nob. Anyway, poking Nav. Yeah, so I've only got these two bits left. But one of the bits is what you've already seen me go through anyway. But I'm just going to go this way for the sake of it. Ooh, sassy. Oh, she's going to start snapping her fingers in a minute. But yeah, she's a fighting slash battle girl, so I'll let her off. Don't want, don't, you don't want to uh, get mouthy to a and fight her, Jesus Christ. Rip your head off. <laughs> Right, so I'll use Ember on this Meditite. Oh, great. I forgot it used Detect for a second there. It's like such a trolly move, I tell you. It's like the trollest of the trolls. <coughs> hey, it failed, yeah, and that's what I meant about if it's used in Concession, it can fail very easily after the first few, or even the first one. <coughs> I don't know, like, the percentage it drops by each time. It's probably something like 25%. But anyway, it's a Makuhita. I'll just use an ember on it. Because why not? So that's uh, Battle Girl Cindy done. Not many more battles until I go back to thing. <coughs> but I'll go back round from Rossboro because I think it's a bit quicker. Right, so there's an item there. But obviously if I don't do all this now, um, we'll have to go from Far Larbor and then go all the way down to here. Which is a problem. But maybe, I haven't thought, uh, not Alto area, but said. Unless I found that in the grass. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to bother, bother with berries, so I'll leave them. <coughs> Here's a psychic girl. Marlene. With a Meditite. Well, great. Groovy. Let's just use an ember to deal with it quickly. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. What next? Spoink. I forgot about Spoink actually. Don't see him often. With its pearl on its head. I think it's a dark psychic as well. I don't know though. And as you can see, it's got pretty good uh, HP. Well, if it isn't Dark Psychic, then uh, fighting type moves wouldn't be very effective. But I'm going to check, just for the sake of it. Let's see. <coughs> no, so it probably isn't Dark Psychic. Unless it's Psychic Dark, and the Dark type is negated, and it doesn't become super effective. I don't know, sometimes it does happen. But... No, it just looks like a dark type because obviously sometimes I like to colour code. <coughs> now I don't want you to show me because it's probably a crap rare Pokemon. Let's see. A Zangoose. 
normal type, so you know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to kick it in its face with a double kick. I was going to kick it in its underbelly first, but yeah. <coughs> Jesus Christ, don't stop coughing. I haven't even been coughing all day. As soon as I do this, never mind. So that's done. And a survivor. These aren't really well. Yeah, I guess Survivor was rare after all. <laughs> this is Blaze Kick it. Bye 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 bye. Bitch. <laughs> That's enough. I think bit Spoink might be Poison Psycho. I don't think it is, but <clears throat> anyway. I need to try and remember to use that rare candy, unless I did use it. I don't remember using it though, but. Anywho. Um, I'll go through Verdant Turf Tunnel. No, not Verdant Turf Tunnel, Rust Earth Tunnel, sorry. Just use a repel. I'll be getting more anyway. Well, it might even be Super Repels, but. Uh, Verdant Turf, I don't know. But enough of me rambling on. <laughs> Time to just get on with it. Oh, that stays broken, which is pretty uh, handy. I'll go to uh thingy, actually. <coughs> What's it called? Morville. Do stuff. Oh, what the hell happened there? I don't know. Let's go Pokemon Center. And then I'll go to Pokemart, wherever that is in this town. I'll go find it. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously, I need to try and find Pokemon with no strength. Don't have to rush, but obviously, Fiery Path might have some sweet secret in it. Oh, here's the Pokemon that's right there. They weren't hard to find. It's a pretty basic town, anyway. Uh, anyway, let's see what you have. Wow, you have nothing to do with that. Oh, never mind. Might have it in, oh, I forgot what the town's called. It's the town with a fire type gym. I'll be going there after the Team Magma bit. So yeah, we've seen a bit of Team Aqua and what they want to do. Now we're going to see what Team Magma want to do. It's basically, as you know, Team Aqua want to... Increase the land's water. So what do uh, Team Magma want? If you think about it, you can guess. I want to go. No, I don't want to go up. What am I doing? Oh, I'm an idiot sometimes. Right. I didn't even touch that then. Never mind. Right now I can go this way. Hmm. <coughs> The cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Yes, please. So obviously, Team Magma have gone away from here now. So up, 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 I go, go, go. So up, 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 I go. But yeah, I can't go down to the town because I think there's an old lady blocking it. Or is it Team Magma? Oh no, they're just fighting there. So you have to go up to here and join the battle. There's Maxi, look. I don't think you... No, you don't fight any of them. I won't make that a double battle. <coughs> so, yeah, as you can probably see, hardened lava, does that mean they want to make this volcano erupt to increase the land mass? Well, yeah, increase the land. So, basically, Team Magma want to use lava to like get rid of all the water and make that land whereas team uh, aqua want to use water which will obviously douse out all the lava and fire that team magma want to increase it so they both are complete opposites and they both go against each other's beliefs of what they want so none of them are good but obviously uh, Team Aqua think I'm on their side, which I'm not. But anyway, 
Anyway, might even be able to get the uh, fifth gym done as well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll use cut. Here is the Subats again with the criminal cult. <coughs> See here, only two more battles. You don't get many battles in this area, but never mind. So here's an admin to Beefer. I think you fight to Beefer a few times, along with the bosses of both teams. I think you fight Team Magma Boss one more time, I don't know. Or once more than uh, Team Aqua Boss, but I don't know. <laughs> Sending out another normal rubbish pointless Pokemon, but never mind, eh? <laughs> never mind. Let's just uh, carry on with these battles. I mean, I guess I could have. <coughs> See how good Slash is. Aww. It's better than Cut. See, that can't be forgotten. See, this has been a very good attack to have. But, um, I don't know. That's a blade kick is very powerful. Um, double kick, pretty powerful. Cut, pretty powerful. Uh, ember, weak. I might want ember though, because obviously that means I won't have many fights. Do you know what? Stuff slash. It don't matter. It might look like a powerful move, but I think uh, where cut is now, that's where I'll put slash. But, never mind. I'll use Blaze Kick. Might as well. With 90 accuracy, it should only miss once every 10. So that's once every, like, of its PP, but I won't use 10 at once. Oh, a Puccino. I was waiting for this. But I think both of the uh, team leaders uh, have a Mighty Ina, which is the evolved version, as you'll probably see in a minute. Yeah, I guess that you're probably going to say that was a bad decision, but I'd lose you put that where Cut was, but never mind. Just laughing about it. But we're not going to awaken that thing, okay? So screw you. <coughs> anyway, the power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mild Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> hmm, who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he met. Hmm, so you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is a cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is, decided, is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. See, I knew that that's how it started. I'm sad for knowing the music, but never mind. Anyway, yes, here's the uh, mighty Inio I mentioned. And it's got Intimidance. So it cuts the attack. Never mind. So this battle isn't really too bad, but 
never mind. Here's the said camera up as well. You see? Speak of the devil. And it comes. I'll use a uh, double kick. Go on, crit, 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 crit. Oh, magnitude. This is a bad move. 43 damage. That was very close to being alright. That was 44. Wow. It's a pretty good guess. Alright, yes. I forgot about Super Potion. Screw you. Oh, no. I should still kill it. Hang on, no. It won't. Crap. Oh, dear. Pito Toch. You should defeat it this time, though. Maybe, I don't know. Come on, just crit and it'll make it easier. Don't, then. Oh, I didn't get a good stab. No. Oh, dude, it's dead now. So that's an uh, example of an annoying Pokemon that doesn't like to die. Anyway, if you had a water type, that's like four times damage because it's ground and fire. So, dead straight away. Oh. It is a Zubat. Everyone's favourite Pokemon. Well, for the criminal organisations of the Pokemon world, yeah. Yeah, it went from a mighty Ena to a Camerupt to a Zubat. You weren't caught off guard, I'm just too good, mate. But, enough. I will be back off. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. Foo -foo -foo -foo. Even without the meteorite, if we obtain that orb, foo -foo -foo. yeah, that's it. You just tell us more about it. <clears throat> Phantom, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Phantom, we shall meet again. Yes, we shall not kick your ass one more time. Because you're delusional and think I want to help a criminal organisation? No. Well, I wouldn't say there is as much criminals as uh, Team Rocket. They just think what they're doing is right, but it's not, clearly. Anyway, here's the jagged pass. This area, you have to keep on going back through, and it's annoying. It, like, loops through and stuff, but... Should be fine. So yeah, I'll only be able to do the fire type gym, I think, today, but that's fine. Let's use a double kick. Kick it right in its head. Do, 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 don't bother me. Because it's a psychic type. I'll use that. See, it's a good thing of remembering what types each Pokemon are. So that's that battle done. Um, hmm. Ah, yes. This is a hint to later on. <coughs> Wah! What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business of it is it of yours? But yeah. Anyway, that's a Magma Grant. So you do come back to this area once you've been to Mount Pyre, I believe. Yes. But once you get to Mount Pyre, you can do uh, the Team Magma and Team Aqua bit in any order, just as long as it is eventually done. Unless you have to do the seventh gym first, I don't know, but I like to do everything else before I do them two bits anyway. Anyway, that's that done for now. Well, no, we've got this battle done. Well, I've got to get this battle done. And obviously, I think he runs off. And then. I'll just go around doing all the other battles in this area. And then down to the town with the. Uh, Fire type gym. And as far as I remember, there's like a hot spring there as well, I think. As you'll probably see. But yeah, there's a hint about the hideout. Oh, 
don't need the burn heal anyway. I guess that's a hint that it's going to be a fire type gym, I don't know. So yeah, that uh, patch of grass down there is just to get you away from the two battles down there. But I'm going to do those two battles because you know me. I'm going to do all the battles. But anyway, I know I always say this, but I feel it's roomish. Because I sure ain't. I'm not feeling shroomish tonight. No, I'm not feeling shroomish tonight. No, 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 no. I'm gonna check the time. See, now I actually want to check the time, but never you mind. Here's an oddish. Pretty easy to deal with, but here. Here's a swablu, here it is, here it is. I knew it was somewhere near the roots up here. So yeah, I guess I could use cut. I would have used slash on it last time, but I guess it's not really needed. And then I'll replace slash with the second fighting type move. But if I get that before I get to Lily Cove, then oh dear. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I will be, but not to uh, give you a rematch, so screw you. Do ya? Do you think you're some, like, macho girl now you like climb this hill every day? It's not that hard to climb it, I don't think. Then again, it's made to look easier than probably what it is. And go away, shroomish, because I'm not feeling shroomish. Are you feeling shroomish, viewers? Don't be feeling shroomish. If you are, I'll burn that feeling away. But um, I know you're all clapping really at that joke. I know you all like that joke. Feel free to clap sarcastically, of course. I don't actually know what those little circle things are. I don't know if you can drop down them or not. I don't actually know. Unless it's just there to be trolls and make you think you can go across them. Because I've said to walk across them, bike across them, but never mind. Anyway, here's a Magnemite. Pretty easy Pokemon to deal with, usually. Apart from Gen 5 and as blooming sturdy. But that can't be helped sometimes. Not all steel types have sturdy, though. I think there's only certain ones. But anyway, that's that done. I think it's the route done, maybe. It looks it. Oh no, one more battle. And then that's it. Yep, it is hard to walk on, but... Uh, it's called Jagged Pass for a reason, mate. And again, you are kids, so I'll let you off. I think it's kids. But all the, all the boy campers look like kids, but... I guess they should have made the kid ones and adult ones. Anyway, here's the Zigzagoon. I think it, yeah, it turns into Linoon, but you don't see that till you go across the water after the fifth gym. But I don't mind the second half of he the Hoenn region. It can be annoying with all the water areas, but it's pretty easy to deal with once you know what you're doing. Anyway, let's just use a blaze kick. Oh, no, I thought so. Pow! Overkill! Overkill! Rubbish experience, but I'm not complaining really. Thought as much. And look at him blaming it on the blooming jagged pass, look. Is this a battle? Oh yeah, oh Lava Ridge, that's what it's called, Lava Ridge Town. I thought that was called, but I'll go in the mart. Yeah, you have Super Repel, that'll do. Unless I don't have room for it, I don't know. I think it's put in storage, isn't it, anyway? 
Anyway, sell. See what's down here that I don't need. Oh, what are you doing? Ugh. A 50, I knew it was. Oh, nugget, yes. Mako brace, don't need that. Well, that's alright, amount um, of money there. Um, everything else I'll keep the same. Or keep there. I guess I'll use the HP up before Eevee gets to high. Hi, hi! I don't know why I did that, just ignore that. Anyway, the final thing I'll be doing in this uh, episode is the fire gym. Oh, I can see a tea room thing there, unless that's to get to the hot spring. Might be. Yeah, it is, I think. I don't think there's really any point going there, but I guess I'll just go over and see the uh, people there in the hot spring. That's just an explanation. There we are. Just dip yourself in hot spring. Yeah, there's not much of there. It's just done about. Relaxing muscles and all that stuff. Anyway, what's this here? Pokemon herb shop. Oh, that's just for like uh, energy roots and stuff like that. Anyway, ba 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 ba. She yeah, Flannery. Not too hard to deal with, but she can be. Well, she's not hard, obviously, because of a fire type, but I don't know how many battles there will be in this gym. Which obviously makes it a bit annoying, because I don't want to take too long. <laughs> but, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped. Do you now? Mm, interesting. But I might save it near enough before I get to the uh, gym leader. If it takes too long, I'll just leave it halfway through. Put you on a cliffhanger. <gasps> yeah, it's actually taken quite a while to get here. But I didn't actually think I would manage to get here in this episode anyway. I actually thought the roots right around me, your falls right, that would take longer, but it didn't. But anyway. Here's another battle. Here's a kindler. Dun 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 Anyway, if the battles are this short, then we shouldn't have trouble getting through it this episode. It better not be a double battle. No, oh, never mind. I don't think you can skip this. 392 degree heat. I'm guessing that's in Fahrenheit, because otherwise we'll all be dead. But then again, you'll probably still be dead with 392 degree. Obviously, it probably means the kind like, we've been kindling. Keckley on them. Sure, that's not fire type. Oh, don't matter. It's all the same to me. I think it's a psychic type as well. So yeah, we uh, have to be careful. I know it has an annoying ability as far as I remember. It's a kick to the it. Uh -huh. Critical hit. Oh, beautiful. Use double kick to make sure it gets hit. I guess I could use a quick attack, but that probably wouldn't have finished it off. So I'll just deal with that for now. So that's that. Wrapped up and put into a present. Nah, not really. It didn't burn hotly enough. Yeah, hotly is definitely a word. Yeah, well done. 
Great grammar. Well, you shouldn't challenge me then. You know, you know you're going to lose because that will stress you out, mate. But shameful. Anyway, sending out a normal. Not really that bad. Double kick time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Double kick time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double kick time. Well, I'm gonna beat Flannery, so screw you, mate. Is this a battle? Yep. See, I wanna just try and get all the battles in this, uh, gym. Because if I don't, then that means I won't be able to show the trainer battles, but it don't really matter. As long as I have to show off as many as possible. Obviously, I know a few YouTubers like to skip the battles and just like go back to them to level up afterwards and just like to get to the main parts and show them. But I just want to show off if, like literally everything. So, if you don't like that style of play, I'm truly sorry. But it's just the way I roll. But I like how everything is different because if everybody was the same, it would be a boring old world. That is so boring that it bores you out because it's so boring. Yes, that's probably a bit confusing and weird. I just said, never mind. Here's a battle girl. I don't think there's any firefighting types other than uh, Blaziken, so. I didn't think so. What is a meta type doing in a fire type? I'm sure I'll just put there to troll in case it uses detect. That move is just the biggest troll you've ever seen. Well, it ain't the biggest troll move, but uh, I would say soft boiled for chance he's annoying. Whatever meal tank has, I think that just has recover. Um, roost for flying type moves can be annoying, or flying types can be annoying. Um, what else? Oh god, I screwed up, never mind. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. Just like, wow. Oh, fantastic. So I could have avoided a double battle, but <laughs> never mind. Right, let's go up here. Yeah, it seems that I've got all battles so far then. Um, let's go this way. Another battle. <gasps> no! <gasps> No, oh, that's definitely a battle there. But, for my ult, there's a battle there. Ooh, fighting talk. Stay back. Stay back. Ooh. Wow, powerful uh, speech there. But I'm going to show you Slug Moon's boss. Fools <gasps> Oh, just remember to think Flannery has a Torkoal. Yes, it's a rock and fire type, which makes a uh, thingy good, but... A double kick good, but... It's probably going to survive it. Anyway. Dun, dun. Full shot! <laughs> so that's that battle. And done. I might go and do that, those two battles, so I'm guessing they are battles. What? You kidding me? I'll have to go back anyway. <laughs> Typical. I know I'm going there, which is a good thing. Do, 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 Oh, no, no, oh god, it's a choice, isn't it? Oh, I've chose the wrong one. Oh, I hate these choice things, it's just so trolly. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go this way. 
I knew I went the wrong way as soon as I saw that. Oh dear. It wouldn't have taken long if I didn't fall for these trolls. We never. Oh god. What am I doing? Never mind. Do 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 do. Finally, welcome. No, wait, puny trainer. How good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the no wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall, uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed in this land. Yawn, yawn, yawn. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. Cool animation, though. A normal. Is that all you got for me, bitch? I'm gonna prove to you why I'm gonna become a uh, Pokemon champion in probably ten episodes' time. Probably not even that, but, yeah. Nearly killed it in one. Yeah, I'll probably level up and won't be able to use the uh, rare candy because there's no point in using it if you've got quite a lot of things for the thing. Yeah. Oh, move that accidentally. You send that slugma. Look, thank you, bothered. Double kick. I guess I could have used slash like when it came, but obviously when the torkoal comes, because I'm sure it does slash wouldn't have been useful. But double kick should be. Oh, it has camera ups first. Mmm, no, this won't one shot it, will it? Oh, it's 26 as well, that's not a good level. No, no. Oh, that was a crit, wasn't it? That was a crit. Oh, what? It wasn't? I managed to one. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, I'm expecting that. Anyway, one more. And I said it was a torco. This is. I think it's rock, it's not ground. It better not be ground. If it's rock, that means. Thing you should be a good move against it. Double kick, come on. Chikapow! Wow. It must not be then. It must be ground instead. That crap hurts. Oh wow. I forgot that can paralyze. Come on, just hit it. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Hit it once and that's fine. That's it, just hit it. That's it. There we are, that should be it. Alright, that's wrapped up. And it was a crit to secure that it was a. Uh, win. Anyway, that's Flannery defeated. Not really the hardest battle, but it didn't matter. Yeah, I do deserve it, because I taught you how to properly play Pokemon by overpowering one Pokemon. Yay. If you have a heat badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use the HM move strength outside a battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. Yay. That's it, blah blah blah. Don't care about. Hang on, yes, I do care about overheat. I'll use that. Probably another time. Yeah, exactly. Probably use overheat. Um, later on in the game, probably Elite Four. Oh, what's May doing in there? Phantom, long time no see. Oh, while I visited the hot springs, you got the Lava Ridge Gym badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. No, I raised one, mate. One. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. Oh, yes, this gets you across the uh, sand area. But I'm going to go get a Pokemon that knows how to use strength before I go to that area. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whilst I go to the uh, Pokemon Center, I will say my outro. The great outro. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. When I go back to, what's it called? Don't remember. Whatever town or city you fight your dad Norman in to get the 5th gym badge 
get the surf, go down to the water routes, but I'll probably go over to the sandstorm area before that. But anyway, as I said, thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye and good night.